Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Yes, we're a little bit behind, but that's okay. We have tons of new videos coming for you guys. So you guys definitely stay tuned. For those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can also get notified when the newest videos go up. For those of you guys that are returning, welcome back. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aquarius, I want to give you guys a few updates. For those of you guys that like to shop on our online store, we have tons of new product that has been restocked. A lot of your favorite soaps, the Lilith soap, the Devil, or Handsome Devil, sorry, the uh, Gold Bar, Money Bar, uh, the Florida soap. We have all of that online as well as the candle line. Um, these are candles that are specific to specific uh, situations that you're wanting to manifest or bring towards you or make happen. Uh, whether it's love, finances, career, money, um, cleansings, protection, etc. These are all ritualized candles that have been uh, done through ceremonial rites to empower and strengthen the candle itself. So all you really need to do is light the candle. You'll be able to find all of that on our online store, like I said, on the description box below, as well as at the end of every video. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2022. Spirits, what are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Please give us communication, element of air, finances and career, element of earth, the challenge for this month of March, element of fire, as well as relationships, partnerships and connections, element of water, and finally, Spirit's general energy for this month. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you guys doing, Aquarius? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are staying safe. Crazy shit is going on right now around the world. All right, let's get into it, Aquarius. First card here, Six of Cups. This is general energy. So you're revisiting, feeling a little bit nostalgic, perhaps looking towards the past. Uh, reliving the past for some of you guys. Um, I feel like some of you guys may be going through emotional situations. I feel like for some of you guys, this could be in connection with your finances and it's creating a lot of frustration within you. And it's often having you contemplate or revisit the past, um, perhaps when there were better times or uh, you felt content and happy. Uh, for a lot of you guys, be careful not to delve deep into that frustrating type of energy because I am sensing um, a bit of anxiety and depression. Um, it's okay to revisit the past. It's okay to contemplate even sometimes, um, but don't stay too long in that energy because it starts to create um, lower vibration and that's when we experience anxiety, uh, panic attacks, depression, um, focused Focus right now in the positive in your life, Aquarius, even if it's as simplistic as just feeling thankful because you have a job or being thankful that you have a roof under your head. Um, counting blessings is very important and very crucial because it is an energy of gratitude and thankfulness. And the more you're able to embrace that or the more you're able to remind yourself of the reasons why you should be thankful the more the universe will put you in situations and circumstances that make you feel more grateful. So again, try not to stay too much in that um, low vibration frequency, okay? Now, when we're talking about communication here, we have the Prince of Swords. So for some of you guys, you may be receiving a message. I'm hearing a lot of rumors surrounding, um, a lot of rumors surrounding you in regards to your finances and career is what I'm hearing. So there may be some gossiping at the office. There may be some gossiping or even family and friends coming to you um, with their issues and problems. Try the best you can to keep those matters private. So what I mean by that is don't get too close to the situations, the dramas. Um, try to stand, you know, be a little bit standoffish when we're dealing with, you know, family drama specifically. Um, because I feel like there may be someone that may be dragging or wanting to drag you into drama or to making like choosing sides. And what they're telling you here is, you know, don't do that. Don't don't rush into taking sides. There's always two sides to a story. Um, stay pretty, stay pretty, uh, 
pretty cool in regards to that situation. Don't get too emotionally invested here. Now, when we're talking about your finances and career, we have the Princess of Pentacles. So you guys have uh, definitely a lot of opportunities. I feel like for some of you guys, there may be a feeling like in the past, you could have missed an opportunity. Um, and this could have been an opportunity uh, stepping up to the next level in your career and finances for some of you guys. This could be that it's been a long journey for you guys, putting a lot of effort and energy and it's like, it feels like you're a little bit overwhelmed. It feels like there is less either production or less uh, finances coming in and there may be some frustration in regards to that. However, I do see you moving on uh, to bigger, brighter blessings. Aquarius, try the best you can to, again, focus in the positive right now. That's going to be very important. That's what's going to help you shift that energy. Now, your next card, when we're talking about the challenge here, we have the Seven of Wands, exactly what I just said here in the beginning of the reading. You need to stand your ground, um, stay a little bit standoffish in regards to carrying on or dealing with other people's dramas. Um, stay neutral. If anything, be Switzerland, you know, try the best you can not to um, not to really have a strong opinion about the issues that people are bringing to you or that they're speaking about. Because we do see a lot of people, there is a person in every one of these cards. It indicates to me a lot of people around you are currently going through or dealing with a lot of drama or a lot of inconsistencies in their life. And I think that this is just triggering you. For some of you guys, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed or you may feel like at this point you are beyond frustrated. But again, like I said, try the best you can to stand your ground. Don't get too involved. Um try the best you can to stay away from gossip. Now, when we're talking about relationships and partnerships, I do see here a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like they're finally opening up Aquarius or you may be, um, be able to hear their side of the situation. I feel like for some of you guys, if there, you were in some type of contact or some type of communication with someone, there could have been like a drawback or they could have pulled away from you. Um, and you were questioning or contemplating like what exactly happened. I feel they're coming back around to try to tell you their story. Um, I think right now everyone around you is experiencing a lot of changes in their life and that could be the reason why perhaps you felt like this person was ignoring you, but more than ignoring you, I feel like they were just trying to deal with um, the crazy shit that's happening or going on in their life right now. So I feel like this person is finally wanting to open up or wanting to give you some type of explanation of why there was some type of pull away. For others of you, again, it's important to maintain um, to maintain yourself grounded. Try the best you can not to get too emotionally invested in people's problems. I think that this only creates more, more of that energy of frustration for you. I would highly encourage you guys to do meditation for this month and the coming month, uh, try the best you can to either listen to subliminals or guided meditation, as well as practicing visualization. This is going to help you focus in the positive and what you want to happen instead of focusing on what's going wrong in your life, Aquarius. I want to send you guys all my love, wishing you guys all the best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.